Witness a man in his late twenties, all alone in a two-story house on All Hallows' Eve. The trick-or-treaters have long since gone, and now it's time for him to relax with a mug of warm milk and watch a horror film. As he sits in a comfortable chair in his basement in front of a large flat screen, he feels a sense of security from the outside world. But there is one thing that he must be aware of at this one moment. Me. My name is not important, and it certainly doesn't matter to my new friend. According to his ID that I've just discovered, his name is Josh. I'm currently hiding in Josh's bedroom upstairs. What am I doing in this particular house? Just having some fun, of course. Call me the Dark Figure. For I dress completely in black. I'm just an average guy you've probably seen on the bus heading to work in the big city when I'm not busy with my 9 to 5 desk job or spending time with my girlfriend. I'm sneaking into people's houses for fun and games. There are no rules for the games that I play. I just like to make them up as I go and be creative. I choose my playmates based on one specific thing. Unlocked doors. You'd be surprised at how many people don't bother to lock their doors anymore. I've crept into many houses where the residents were busy watching movies, just like this man, Josh. You should have seen the looks on their faces. Anyway, you'd think on a night like Halloween night that nobody would dare leave their front doors unlocked, what with all the crazies and costumes r running wild. Luckily, Josh was thoughtful enough to do just that. Now, I will have a happy Halloween. I've brought along a toy for this occasion, my trusty pry bar that I stole years ago from my dad's garage. It's long, blunt, and sharp. It's also kind of a pain to carry around, but it has a rusted, menacing look that freaks the shit out of people, which amuses me. Oh, I also have a small bottle of a very toxic green chemical that I stole from a friend who is majoring in chemistry. To be honest. I have no idea what it does, but I'll know soon. Before my game starts, I think I'll help myself to some Halloween candy. I love the Snickers bars and Reese's. They bring me back to my childhood. The sound of the movie from downstairs is shaking the house. But then, suddenly, it stops. Perhaps my boots on the floor made too much noise. I should retreat back to the dark bedroom. Sure enough, Josh is making his way up the staircase right now, but he can't notice me if I remain in the shadows. He doesn't see me. I'm standing in the hallway right now staring back at him, and he has no idea. Now he's going outside with a flashlight to investigate the noises I've been making. Perfect. It's time to go to work. I wait till Josh is outside, searching around. Then I creep past the open door and proceed down to the dark basement, which is illuminated by the TV screen. There is a black and white horror film he has on pause. The DVD case says it's Maniac. How fitting. With no time to waste, I spot the mug of warm milk on a stand next to his comfy recliner. I put several drops of the chemical into the steaming liquid then retreat into a square downstairs bedroom at the end of the small hallway. Now, I wait and listen. Getting excited, I hear the sound of Josh returning to his home and closing the door, followed by the sound of him descending the staircase. He sits back into his chair and unpauses the movie. Sounds of maniacal laughter fill the room. All I can hear next is the film's dialogue with classical music playing. Just then, I hear Josh's body thud to the ground, followed by a dragging noise. The chemical has made him too weak to stand, and he's crawling in agony to the nearest bathroom to try and puke it up. Luckily for me, the nearest bathroom is right across the room I am in. He's getting closer now. Time to strike. I step out of the shadows and Josh is still crawling on the floor. I raise my pry bar, then impale him right through the head. Blunt squirts out and splashes on my black mask. I pull my weapon out of his skull and then take it to the bathroom to wash the blood and brain matter off of it. 
Should I have tortured him more first? Oh well, there will always be another victim. I take a seat on Josh's recliner and watch the rest of the movie before calling it a night and sneaking out the back door. I have to get up early tomorrow anyway for a meeting. But someday soon, I, the dark figure, will return. Remember, if you hear a strange noise at your door late at night, just tell yourself it's the wind. That way, I can play with you. Ha 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 ha.